I honestly thought it was going to be pretty cold, but damn, I shouldn't have worn this. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. So on the last video, we touched on two-step as well as how to use our bodies within two-step to express ourselves. We're gonna expand on that concept with more Top Rock moves. Let's get it. So this is actually a, uh, somewhat of a variation on two-step. Um, sort of actually the reverse of two-step in a way. Instead of moving from side to side, we're actually gonna be placed in one spot. We have a center point, okay? That we're always coming back to. What I want you to do is take a step out like you were gonna do two step, but then actually come right back. So take a step out and come right back. Do it on the other side and come back. Take a step out, come back. Out, back. Out, back. That's it. That's actually called the salsa step. And one thing actually about the salsa step is you don't want to necessarily put all your weight on this foot, but you also don't want to just kind of leave it out there. Okay? You kind of want to have, you know, find that middle ground. Between those two. So I'm kind of just shifting my weight a little bit over, but not too over to the point where I'm just kind of being lethargic, you know? You don't want that. I don't even think of it as stepping my foot out. I actually think of it as just like planting and then coming right back. So I plant the foot and I come right back. Right back to the center. You don't need to move anywhere. Now remember about our shoulders and our knees and our hips and whatnot, right? We really get creative with this one. If we were to put it in counts, let's say to some music, Probably count it off like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright? Let's try it together. I'll count five, six, seven, eight, then we're done. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can even do the same foot twice if you want to. And then go. Do two at the same time. Yeah? Let's take the concept of salsa and let's start stepping out in different directions. Let's get wide. From the center point, what I want you to do is take one foot and cross it in front of the other foot. Okay? In front and a little bit diagonal. So in front and diagonal. Okay? In front and then back. In. Okay? So try with the other foot, front and back. In. Front and back. In. So you'll notice that I'm shifting my weight a little more forward. Then let's say the salsa step. That just actually makes it a little bit easier. And because we're crossing one foot and over the other, let's call this cross step. Very creative, I know, but that's actually what the move is called, cross step. <laughs> There's actually a classic way to move your arms with cross step. The concept or the idea is that you have like a stick or something, and you have the stick, and then you break the stick as you step through. So you grab the stick and you break the stick, yeah? Yeah. Now you can do that and you can have an aggressive vibe to it or you can get a more looser vibe. Let the arms hover out front and then open up the arms as you step through, okay? Open up, hover and open up. Like you're uh, giving a hug to someone, you know? You want a hug? Nope, sorry. Can't do it, Corona, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it to some counts, five, six, seven, eight, we'll start, two, three, four, just like that, okay, you didn't have to do it that time. All right, let's try it here. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
hopefully you're starting to get more comfortable with both salsa and cross step to the point where you can almost do it interchangeably. So you can start off with one foot doing salsa and with the other foot you can do cross step, right? And just starting to get the feel of that transition because it's all coming from here with our feet together, right? So it all comes from our feet together and then from here we can go to salsa or we can go to cross, right? And again, the whole notion of how do I, you know, what's some variations on cross step, how can I do it? Well, we already talked about the arm, right? Um, another thing both with variations on salsa and cross is to vary the step size or your stride. So you can take small steps, just like this, and be really compact, or you can take wide steps. You can go crazy, you know? Let's do some counts. Let's go two steps across two steps of salsa let's just try that five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay again let's do a reverse five six five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight there you go Top rock is generally used at the beginning of your set. And so it's basically kind of like an attention grabber to grab the audience's attention and then you can keep moving forward. So I hope with these basic moves, you're able to kind of build off of that and create your own style using different variations and going different directions like we talked about with step size and you know where your shoulder is and how your head's moving and whatnot. We could talk about variations for 40 hours, but you know, not a lot of people have 40 hours in a day, so I think I'll just cap it at here. Stay healthy, keep practicing, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.